SNH, the, the rural lifestyle customer, um, you know, it's a different segment and you have to treat it as a complete different segment. It's a whole different uh, business model. Um, the nice thing about selling to the rural lifestyle farmer is there, there is available for, for better profitability as far as a percent of profit on your balance sheet. Uh, what we've found is it gives us extra opportunity. We've got a new market segment to sell um, that, that um, evens out some of the ups and downs of the ag market. It also um, gives us another whole customer base to sell to. Um, it's a complete different buying group. Um, they have different expectations than an ag customer. Um, we do a lot of uh, prepared pricing and price sheets, equalized pricing between our stores. And by doing that, when the customer comes in, you can answer questions on products and features and benefits and answer their questions about the product and do more training that way versus strictly uh, spending time figuring prices. We also like the price sheets because then you can give them something to take home and it gives them something to look at and to, um, to look over when, whenever they come back and make the buying decision. Uh, but as far as parts and service, you know, uh, you have to have a dedicated staff for parts and service. Uh, it's, it doesn't really work to have a lot of your ag parts and service people to, to wait on those, on those customers because often the, 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 the mower season is often uh, the busy time is hay and, and other seasons. So um, I, from what we've seen, it takes a commitment from the sales parts and service business and treat it as a separate business segment. But um, from what we've seen, um, it's worthwhile, um, it's good for business, and it's, it's good profitability. You know, the expectation of the, the rural lifestyle customer is different um, than an ag customer. Uh, what we've found is is they don't necessarily want to sit down in the office and, and talk about uh, the purchase or, or sit and figure something. They're more of, uh, they want to walk around the product, see it. Um, uh, they may be intimidated, intimidated by having a salesman bring them into their office and sit down. Um, also, you know, our customers sometimes don't understand or realize that um, you know, they think if they're going to an ag dealership, it may be like going into a car dealership to where they, when they buy the product, then they may be given to uh, another person in the business to where they're, they're given the hard sell on upsell on, on finance and income and with uh, options and accessories. And, and that's something we've, we've tried to be careful of is, is to not do all those things because the rural lifestyle dealer wants a dealer to take care of them and to have a, a pleasant buying experience versus high pressure and so we've, we've tried to stay away from that. But, but they also kind of see the, the similarities to the automotive dealer and us because um, they want to buy from a store that has a, a full slate of products in stock ready to go. A lot of items are an impulse purchase just like when you go to a car lot they've got a full, full selection of cars to buy and, and we feel like by having attachments and um, loaders, implements, having your tractors and everything ready to go, or if they have a trailer, you can load it up and go. Um, having fast finance options and those things, well, then that works to to um, facilitate the sale. All those guys, when you know they come in on a Friday night or a Saturday morning, they'll say, "How quick can I pick it up, or how fast can you deliver it?" And with the rural lifestyle dealer, you need to be able to react to that because when they're there, they want to buy it today and take it home and use it this weekend. They don't want to wait two or three days for you to prep it or put a loader on it. So um, it's similar to the, to the car dealership mentality in several different ways, and that, that can be good and bad. And, but um, when you come up with a plan, you need to realize that you know when they're there, they're ready to buy, and you need to be ready for that. And we have prefigured pricing, so the pricing is the same between all of our four stores. We have financing options um, um, on the sheet, so they know what their financing options are. A lot of times payments. We also, you know, Saturday is a big day for the rural lifestyle customer, so in the summertime we have extended hours for parts and service and sales, and we make sure we have somebody there to, to do the finance contracts, possibly a delivery person on staff, um, because like I said, when they're ready to do something, they're ready to do something.